Hi guys, just like yesterday I want to start today's video by doing a little bit of fluency. So coming up is are some number one questions. You can either pause the video and try and get through all of them, or there will be a timer running, they'll be on the screen for 30 seconds before the answers appear. So I hope you've got your paper ready, time starts now. Well done if you got the fluency questions correct. We're going to move on to talking about yesterday's challenge. So first of all, Annie. Now she multiplied both the numerator and the denominator, so that was incorrect. Mo multiplied the denominator but forgot to add his numerator and Dexter just put his whole number next to the numerator. So actually you should see that the answer they should have got is 17 fifths is the improper fraction. Well done if you got that right. Okay, today's learning we are looking at comparing and ordering mixed number and improper fractions. So we're going to be using those skills that we practiced yesterday. So I've got two fractions, 23 sevenths and three quarter, three holes and four sevenths. So I want to know, thinking about comparing, which one is greater than, which one is less than. First things first, our denominators are the same, but I've got two different types of fraction. So I need to make them the same. It doesn't matter which way I run I do it, I can turn my improper into a mixed number, or my mixed number into an improper, as long as they are the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my improper fraction into a mixed number. So, 23 sevenths is the same as how many holes, so how many whole groups of 7 have I got in 23? 7, 14, 21, I can't get any more out, so I've got 3 holes, and then left over I have 2 sevenths. Now I can compare 3 holes and 2 sevenths, or 3 holes and 4 sevenths. Hopefully we can recognise that they've both got the same amount of whole numbers, denominators are the same, I would rather have four pieces of the cake than two. Therefore, three holes and four sevenths is a greater fraction. Time to pause the video and I want you to have a go. So your two fractions are 20 eighths or two holes and five eighths. Remember your first step is to make sure they're both the same type of fraction, but it doesn't matter which one you choose. Okay, again, I'm going to decide to turn my mix, uh, sorry, my improper fraction into a mixed number fraction. So 28, how many whole groups of 8 can I get? I can get two whole groups of 8, which is 16, and then I've got four eighths left over. So now I can compare my two holes and four eighths, two holes and five eighths. I know that five eighths, holes are the same, five eighths is bigger than four eighths. And so they, that's the answer you should have got. Time to pause the video for you to have a go on your own. Two fractions that you have are two holes and three quarters and 22 ninths. Remember there's lots of steps to go through so if you need to go back and have a look then please feel free to do so. But remember your two types of fraction need to be the same, that's your first step. Then look for your common multiple. Okay, I chose again to turn my improper fraction into a mixed number fraction. So the 22 ninths gave me two holes and four ninths. We then need to compare, because they've both got two whole numbers, the fractions of three quarters and four ninths. To do this, we need to make sure the denominators are the same. So looking for a common multiple, I know that 32 is in both of the times tables. So 3 quarters is the same as 27 32s, and 4 ninths is the same as 16 32s. I then know that 27 is greater than 16, and so therefore 2 holes and 3 quarters is greater than 22 ninths. Next, I want us to have a go at ordering three fractions. 
fraction, so from smallest to greatest. This is what you're going to be doing in today's task. So I have one whole and three quarters, 16 twelfths, and one whole and four sixths. First things first, we need to make sure that they're all the same type of fraction. Hopefully you've noticed I've got two mixed number fractions and one improper. So I think it's easiest to turn the odd one out into a mixed number fraction. So 16 twelfths is the same as having one whole, which is 12 twelfths, and then four twelfths left. Now I need to look for a lowest common multiple of quarters, twelfths, and sixths. Again, if you're not sure, you can write out all of those times tables and look for that one that's the earliest and circle it. But I can recognise that, well, actually, I can turn them all into twelfths. Four, I can turn into twelfths and six. So let's do that now. They've all got a whole number, so again, four now, I can forget about that. So, three quarters is the same as how many twelfths times the denominator by three? Do the same to the numerator. So three times three gives me nine. So now I've got nine twelfths, four twelfths. I need to do the same with my six. Four six is equal to how many twelfths? I've times the denominator by two. So I must do the same to the numerator, which gives me eight twelfths. Nine twelfths, four twelfths, and eight twelfths. I can put those in order. So I started with the smallest. We have got four twelfths. Now originally my four twelfths was sixteen twelfths. So I'm going to write that down. That's my smallest. Then we're getting bigger. The next one is eight twelfths. Well eight twelfths was the same as one whole and four sixths. And so that must mean that my largest is nine twelfths or one whole and nine twelfths which is the same as one whole and three quarters. Now time to pause the video and I want you to have a go at putting these fractions from smallest to largest just like I did. So you've got two wholes and three fifths, 23 tenths or 28 eighths. So think about what's going to be the easiest, you need to turn them all into the same type of fraction. Look for that common multiple for your denominator. Now yours are quite tricky. So have a go, go back to the video to go through the steps if you need to, and then we'll go through it. Okay, so for this one, I think it's easier to turn our mixed number back into an improper because we've got two improper fractions and just one mixed number. So two wholes and three fifths as an improper fraction. So I need to times by the denominator, two times five is 10, Add my numerator, which gives me 13 fifths. Now I need to look for that common multiple. So what's a common multiple of 5, 10 and 8? You could have written your multiples down if you needed to. I found 40. So I'm going to turn all of my fractions into 40ths. Once you've done this, hopefully we can see that now 92 fortieths is our smallest, so that originally was 23 tenths. Then next we have 100 fortieths, which originally was 28, and the largest is 104 fortieths, and originally that was our mixed number fraction of two wholes and three fifths, so that one should be our largest fraction. That's it for me and Ringo today. Your task is on my maths, so go and have a look. Hopefully you get on okay following all those steps. Remember that video is there to help you when you need it. Also coming up is a challenge. I would love to see them. Uh, so please post them on the blog or email us with them. Any questions, please let us know. See you tomorrow.